Hey guys, and welcome to another Funky Kids Show Live with me, your host, Winston. And uh, yeah, I've got a new little jingle from Pig Radio. So thanks, Pig Radio, for this. Check it out. Watch this. It's time for the Funky Kids Show with your host, Winston Chim, the Mr. Beast of the computer world. <laughs> Do you love that? It's amazing. Thanks, uh, Pig Radio, for that. All right, so... Let's have a look at the streams. We should be live on Facebook, YouTube, as well as Twitch. We're looking good. We're looking good. All right. Hey, Robotic Pizza. How's it going? So uh, I just got an email from Pig Radio. He missed out on the big prize from last week. And uh, I thought we... I uh, know. Uh, I thought I'd give him a t-shirt as a consolation prize. So it's a funky t-shirt. I sent it to him. And uh, so he did a little uh, jingle for me as a, a, a kind of a, a sign of appreciation. So thanks, Pig Radio, for that. And uh, for you guys, if you just joined, check it out. It's uh, this little jingle. I love this. So thanks, uh, Pig Radio, for this. It's time for the Funky Kids Show with your host, Winston Chim, the Mr. Beast of the computer world. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so thanks, uh, Pig Radio, for that. All right, let's have a look at the stream and see how it's going. Yes, we have True. Yeah, True, how's it going? Welcome to the show. I'm a bit late today, but uh, I've just got some stuff prepared for the show, and I thought, okay, uh, I need to get all this thing done. So we're looking good. We're on live on Facebook, Twitch, as well as YouTube. Welcome to the show. It's the Funky Show with me, your host, Winston. All right, let's bring up the agenda and see have a look at what's going on. Let's have a look. Here we go. All right, so, oh, it's the wrong one. Let me just change this a little bit. And it's the, uh, for this week, we have, uh, let me see. Here we go. It's the agenda for this week is, here we go. Just changed it. And uh, for 5th of September, we have... Uh, news and updates, of course, for our usual website, Funky Kit, as well as AMD 3D. And uh, I want to show you this uh, really cool hardware wallet. I mentioned it last week, but I want to show you a video later on uh, with uh, all the uh, pros and cons and everything. So it's the Cool Wallet Pro. It's a credit card size kind of cold storage wallet for your cryptocurrencies. So yeah, I want to uh, show you that in a sec. And after that, we'll do, of course, Rig Builder, our system configurator. Uh, develop, uh, developed by my brother. So Yao is the architect behind it and so thanks Yao for that. And then of course we've got Mods of the Week taken from our Extreme PC Modding group as well as our Funk Kit and Gadgets group. So we'll take a look at some of the mods, some interesting mods up there. Yeah, we'll take a look and after that we'll take a break and then we've got Crypto Update, see what's going on with uh, the world of crypto, the prices, what's going on for the last couple of weeks. Some interesting uh, rises in terms of uh, increases in crypto so we'll take a look at that and then of course we've got the uh something interesting it's a cougar streamer x so this is like a, a microphone podcast mic from cougar but uh they've added some interesting bits to it and i will show you in a sec later on in the show and then we'll uh, talk a little bit about windows 11 that's coming up uh, i think they're going to be launching it towards the end of the year uh people are on beta programs already using the beta uh, OS so we'll take a look at that. I haven't got installed yet, but um, uh, I've heard some you know some remarks and uh, pros and cons and stuff like that with Windows 11 But we'll take a look at that and after that we'll got of course prize giveaway announcements And uh, we'll do some live prize giveaways and then we'll wrap it up with next week's preview All right, so let's have a look at the chat and see what's going on Hey, Rat Row, what's going? Robotic Pizza Intense Webs <laughs> it's the Mr. Beast of Computers. Right, for you guys who just joined, uh, I want to play you with this jingle. So uh, Pig Radio was kind enough to do this little jingle for me, and uh, I thought it would be interesting to let you guys take a listen. So here we go. It's time for the Funky Kid Show with your host, Winston Chim, the Mr. Beast of the Computer World. <laughs> oh, I love it. So thanks, Pig Radio, for that. In fact, I'll probably ask him to do a little more uh, jingles and uh, yeah, it'll be really good for some radio kind of, you know, jingles there. So thanks, Pig Radio, for that. All right. Okay, so uh, we're just getting the streams up and running live. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitch as well as YouTube. So guys, uh, if you've just joined the show, yeah, welcome. All right. So uh, let's start with the uh, news and updates on our website, Funky Kit. Okay, let's take a look. 
and uh, here we go. In the uh, have a look at this. Oop, the website's gone. Where is the website? The website is right here, and it's the funky kit. Here we go. All right. So uh, we'll have a look at some of the reviews that we've done in the past week. And uh, yeah, we've got this one here. It's the Cooler Master MWE 850 Gold version 2. There's a full uh, modular power supply from Cooler Master. And this one is quite affordable price, actually. Uh, I was quite surprised. But uh, yeah, it's got the full modular cable management there. Um, 850 watts gold. Yep. Yeah. 80 plus gold. And um, this one retails for $100, $110, not bad. Because normally you get like high-end kind of 850 watts, they're around about 150 plus. But this one's around about 110, so it's not too bad. So this is the version 2, it's the Cooler Master MWE uh, Gold 850 version 2. So check out the full review on this. Um, this is kind of a power supply I recommend uh, in, t in size of wattage. Uh, especially if you're running a high-end graphics card for gaming and stuff like that. If you have a lot of uh, things that you need to run in, in terms of like, you know, all the RGB stuff. If you have uh, water cooling, then uh, A50 is going to bare minimum. Um, but more than enough for most of the gamers out there. So check it out. So this is the full modular Cooler Master uh, MWE850 Gold version 2. Full modular power supply. All right. We also have this one here. This is what I reviewed earlier in the week. It's a cool uh, wallet pro um, from cool bits and uh, it's a credit card size crypto hardware wallet and I've been using it for about a week or two and uh, it's really good. I love it. Um, you know, there's always stories about uh, if you're buying crypto on the online apps, whether it's desktop or mobile. Uh, and you get, you know, you're worried about having your cryptocurrencies being stolen and stuff like that, and and exchanges being hacked. Then this is a, a a good way of storing your cryptos offline. There are other brands. There's Trezor, which is very good as well. This one I loved it because the size is credit card size, and it's from uh, Coolbits. So it's called a Cool Wallet Pro, and you can do staking. You can actually store a lot of cryptos on there. EC20 and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll look at that in a sec in more detail. But uh, check out the full review and the video on our website, thefunkykit.com, as well as YouTube. And this one is about $150, so it's it's a bit pricey for what it is, but it looks so cool. Especially you know, it's a hardware wallet and it's offline and it's cold storage. You can put it into your wallet. It's pretty cool. Yeah, check out the full review, and you can also use a, a referral link to buy this uh, crypto wallet. Hardware wallet, nice. All right, moving on. Um, we also have this one, a Cougar Air Blader gaming mouse. And this one is a very uh, unique mouse in terms of it light, really lightweight. And it's got a, a nice kind of feel to it. Look at that, it's a nice design. A lightweight gaming mouse. And um, yeah, this retails for around about oh, $40, so it's not too bad. So you can check out the full review on that. It's from Cougar, it's the Air Blader. Very uh, lightweight mouse. Let's have a look how lightweight it is. Let's have a look at the specifications on page two. 62 grams. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, I, I, here you go. 16,000 DPI. Very nice. Optical gaming sensor. This one, I believe it doesn't have any RGB. Does it have a... No, it doesn't look like it has RGB. But here we go. It's a lightweight gaming mouse from Cougar. So this is the Cougar Air Blader gaming mouse of forty dollars. Not bad at all. Okay, moving on. We have this one, of course. Another review done by myself is the Asrock B five hundred and fifty PG Riptide motherboard. We mentioned that earlier in our show last week, and it's basically a very nice, affordable gaming laptop. It hasn't got all the bells and whistles of a high end kind of like Tai Chi model or one of those you know expensive um, yeah enthusiast board. But uh, yeah, if you want a, a, an affordable gaming mo uh, motherboard that will, uh, you know, suitable for all the Ryzen processors, then this is the board to want to get. In fact, I have it right here. In, and I'll probably uh, actually do a prize giveaway on this motherboard. Maybe towards the end of the month. We haven't decided yet. Well, we could, we could uh, work it out, okay? So yeah, check out the full review and the video 
on our website at funkykit.com as well as YouTube. Uh, it's the ASRock B550PG Riptide motherboard. Uh, it's a very decent motherboard for the price. And um, yeah, it's it's got this uh, unique uh, graphics card holder, which is quite interesting. Um, it clips onto the motherboard itself and you have a little uh, kind of like notch which holds the graphics card in place so you don't get that graphics card sag right so yeah that's, that's that comes included which is quite unique and you also have this like lightning gaming port so uh, it's basically USB but it, in, it prioritizes all your gaming peripherals and mice and stuff like that and keyboards so for the you know for low latency and low jitter and stuff like that so yeah check it Check out the full review. It's the uh, ASRock uh, B550PG Riptide uh, motherboard. All right. Let's have a look where else. The other ones we've reviewed uh, and taken a look from last week. So I think that's pretty much it. We've got some amazing more reviews lined up for this week, including some interesting mice. Also, um, some more stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll get into it later on in the preview. All right, so those are reviews covered on our website at funkykit.com. Let's have a look at some of the news. And uh, here you go. Vesa introduces a true HDR black 600 performance tier. Okay, so nice uh, new certification from Vesa. This is also interesting. NVIDIA spot, oh, well, spotted actually this graphics card for mining is 170 HX. And uh, it's got a hash rate of uh, 164 mega hashes. So this is interesting. It's it's an unknown card. We haven't seen it before. It was spotted. Whether it's a it's a leak, or uh, whether it's uh, something that's just made up, I don't know. But apparently, it's a new mining card from Nvidia, which uh, with with a very high performance hash rate. So probably not cheap. But uh, according to the uh, GPU-Z screenshot you can see that's kind of like just covered up but um, interesting though look at the memory type HBM2 yeah not your GDDR interesting uh, here you go some system specs on the um, the card itself for mining 170HX that's the model name gives you 164 around about meg hash per second uh, 250 watt power rating so interesting because most high-end mining cars they eat up like a, a huge amount of uh, power so like 300 plus watts so this is only like 250 interesting memory size only 8 gig you know so it's a dedicated mining card not for gaming so yeah that was pretty interesting I thought so you can check out that and there's also the news including let's have a look where else in the news all right. Uh, there's my little crypto hardware uh, wallet. You can check out the uh, video on YouTube. Look at this. Uh, this <laughs> this camera. <laughs> see, it's the new Red AK Pro camera. It shoots 120 frames raw. Okay, like, but this this camera though, it's twenty four thousand dollars just for the body. <laughs> That's just nuts. And a starter pack will cost you a measly $29,000. So this is like high-end 8K movie producing camera. So if you want to get some really good, yeah, you can check it out. It's, it's just nuts. So any camera buffs up there, you might want to look into this. But uh, yeah. And PlayStation have a showcase um, 2021 um, next Thursday, which is coming 9th of September. I think I'm guessing they're showcasing some of the new latest games, uh, also accessories, as well as I think they're going to be promoting some of the accessories in terms of like storage. They're allowing um, third parties to um, allow the storage, SSDs and stuff like that to give you extra storage. Uh, there's news about Gigabyte with the SSDs. You can actually get the um, M.2 SSDs. I think it's a firmware update that you need to do. That and then allows you then to put that SSD into the PS5 for extra storage. So yeah, maybe some more announcements about that later on. Yeah, so check out some of the news and updates on our website, a funky kit. And uh, this prize giveaway we're going to talk about later on in the prize giveaway announcements. 
All right, so lots of reviews. You want to check it out? Uh, let's have a look at the chat and see what's going on, shall we? Black Suit Triple Six, how's it going? JD, welcome to the show. Jeremy Clark. Haven't built a PC in a while. How are people putting the graphics card not in the PCI slot? Well, yeah, I think I think <laughs> PCI slot is the main slot for uh, graphics cards, right? There's only one way to put it in. Uh, I usually put it on the top, the top slot. Robotic piece of scumberg, how's it going? Pig Radio, hi everyone. <laughs> You're on the air after all. Glad I checked. Hey, Pig Radio, this is something for you. Thanks for the uh, little jingle. I'll play it again for you. Okay, so yeah, so uh, just to cut the long story short, last week uh, during the uh, wheel decide, Pig Radio missed out on the uh, the grand prize and it was given to Kirk 1000. So congrats to Kirk 1000. Because Pig Radio just missed out on the uh, prize because the little ticker kind of just like, ooh, and it went into Kirk. So uh, Pig Radio for that consolation prize, I'll, I'll give you a t-shirt. So I hope you get that in a couple of weeks. Uh, but he also did something really nice for us. Um, he actually did a little jingle for us. So here it is. It's time for the Funky Kids Show with your host, Winston Chim. The Mr. Beast of the computer world. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So thanks. Um, Pig Radio for that. And uh, there's a little jingle later on I want to show you as well. So uh, uh, we might get some more jingles from Pig Radio l later on in you know, a couple of weeks maybe. I want to get some more jingles off him. So thanks Pig Radio for that. All right. Yes, we've got a, a funky chicken still here. <laughs> All right. Lost Trooper, how's it going? Alex. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. Thanks. For the uh, little jingle all right so we did the uh, uh funky kit website we covered that so we want to check out full of reviews head over there at funkykit.com as well as uh, the youtube channel for our videos all right let's have a look at our sister site amd 3d and this is all to do with um of course amd related uh, whether it's ryzen's radions thread rippers ps5s xboxes x's and s's and stuff like that so oh gaming news as well Head over to amd3d.com. So let's have a look. We'll see what's going on there. Right, here we go. Uh, so we mentioned earlier about the uh, Gigabyte uh, with the M.2 SSDs. Uh, I think with the firmware update, you'll be able to use that into your PS5. So you want to check that out as well. Um, some more news. Uh, AMD releasing this uh, M1 or MI200. Older brand. Alderbaran GPU, so it's not like a graphics card for gaming. It's more uh, kind of just processing, GPU processing, like you know the workstation stuff and all the GPU service stuff like that. So it's all, um, yeah. This one is interesting. It's the Instinct. So you want to check it out if you're into that kind of stuff. It's like a high-end compute kind of like, you know. They put them into all the uh, data centers and stuff like that. So, yeah, interesting. It's to compete with uh, NVIDIA's uh, Ampere, you know, the uh, accelerators, what they call GPU accelerators. They put them into the, the data centers and stuff like that. So this is the new one, CDNE2. All right, we also have uh, on the other news, we got this one here. No Man's Sky, uh, <laughs> if you're into a No Man's Sky, they got this, uh, you could actually control alien settlements now. So, I never got into uh, No Man's Sky, actually. I don't know why. I mentioned this earlier. This is the uh, PlayStation event, the showcase. So, that's happening on the September 9th. That's a Thursday. Check out your time, the local time. It's uh, 1 p.m. PDT, so that's uh, Pacific time. And 9 p.m. BST, that's British time, I believe. Yeah. Is it British time? Something like that, yeah. Some new uh, showcase from uh, Sony regarding the PlayStation stuff like that. Final Fantasy, uh, all the the get hold series of Final Fantasy games are now coming on to PlayStation. You got all the uh, games, Final Fantasy like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the all the way up to like whatever the latest one is. So you can be able to now uh, play them on from your Xbox and Playstations. 
Yeah. All right. All right. This is also interesting. This is uh, apparently it's a leak. Whether well, it's a rumor, I don't know. It's a Radeon RX 6900 XTX. So this one is to compete with like the Nvidia's um, RTX 3090. Uh, I, I I don't know if it's real, um, but it's apparently it's I don't know. I think they shouldn't really bother continuing to use the uh, the 6900 series for for the higher end. They should be moving on to the 7000 series, which apparently will be happening towards the end of the year. So we'll we'll check that out. Maybe they have, maybe they don't. I don't know. But all right, moving on. Uh, Dead Space gets a sneak peek. So remake Dead Space. If you have into Dead Space. This is a Dead Space remake. And also PS5 ha could have a, uh, a slimmer version possibly, or they're gonna reduce the cooling capacity. If they do that, that means there's a new chip out. So whatever new revision chip they're gonna be put into the PlayStation 5s, it could be a low voltage, because if it's a less cooling or lower capacity cooling, that means you don't need that extra massive heat sink or the fan to cool those existing chips. If it's a low voltage, then it's probably lower temperatures. So yeah, you can see there's a fan and the heat sink difference there. So is that going to be real? Most possibly. And uh, we'll know about it in the uh, PlayStation um, or PS5 Sony showcase. They might have a slimmer version, I don't know. Or possibly a, uh, a, a different chip design. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it for AMD 3D. You might want to check out more news. Most of the new reviews are done on the Funky Kit, so head over there to check out the latest reviews and videos on our YouTube as well. So, let's have a little chat and see what's going on. Robotic Pizza says, PS5 already have a new model but no new chip. The cooling is smaller, uh, but the heat is uh, 7 degrees. <laughs> okay, that's strange. Aries 25 AU, welcome to the show. Robotic Pizza, very nice. The 7000 series will flopped. <laughs> Possibly. NVIDIA is so advanced into their game, um, maybe AMD uh, kind of like st still behind a little bit. I don't think they'll be able to catch up. I'm hoping they'll be able to stay ahead of Intel because there's a lot of Intel kind of, uh, you know, excitement with their Arc, Intel Arc graphics. How is Mr. Beast? I'm pretty cool. Um, we just you just missed out the uh, the new little jingle done by Pig Radio. I might play that later on in a show, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're looking good. Uh, the stream is running fine. There's no lag, no Windows update causing a lag. All right, so <laughs> last time there was a lag because of the Windows update. It was a pain in the ass, but uh, now we're, we're pretty cool. No Windows update and therefore no lag. All right. Okay, let's move on and have a look at the agenda. I think we're going to move on to take a look at the uh, Cool Wallet Pro. All right, so let me uh, switch over to the other video. You want to check that out. It's also available on YouTube. You want to watch that as well. Uh, but yeah, this is the Cool Wallet Pro, which I've been using for about a couple of weeks. And uh, it's a fantastic little hardware wallet for your cryptocurrencies. So uh, yeah, take a look. So here we go. Hey guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the Cool Wallet Pro, which is a cold storage hardware crypto wallet. All 
So as you know, cryptocurrency has been a major topic over the last couple of years and uh, more and more people are buying cryptocurrencies via their mobile apps or on a desktop. And what better way to store your cryptocurrencies offline on a cold storage wallet such as uh, this one here, which is the uh, Cool Wallet Pro. Yes, it's a credit card size uh, cold storage hardware wallet and uh, it looks fantastic. Yeah, most of the uh, hardware crypto wallets are chunky and they're like really, you know, really big and bulky, USB interface and all that sort of stuff. But this one is a credit card size, fits in your wallet, and uh, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I like the size. It's, uh, it's got an LCD display as well. So uh, it pairs up with the software on the app, on the mobile app. And uh, yeah, it's got all that usual security, including all the uh, uh, key phrases and stuff like that. So it will never have to worry about uh, security and things like that. So yeah, let's take a quick look and uh, do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's take a look at the box inside. Okay, we have a USB cable, charging cable. And we also have the, uh, the charging dock. Very nice. All right, let's take a look where else. We have get started, installation guide. Thank you for purchasing. And then we have two recovery seed cards. Don't lose them, very important. All right, okay, right. Let's take a look at the uh, card itself. Wow, very nice, look at that. All right, now let's take a closer look at the card itself. There you go, very nice and thin, credit card size. There you go, and you notice the LCD screen there. And uh, we have the charging connectors right there. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, charging dock. There you go, we have the charging dock here. Let's peel this off. And uh, you get the card and basically you just slot it in with the connectors are located. There you go. Okay, and here we have the USB uh, port. And uh, we will now plug the USB cable in. There you go. And the other end, goes to the computer or a charging port so that's pretty much it all right now let's pair this up with the uh, mobile app all right first of all you need to press this button here to power the uh, card up and it should say hello and of course you need to switch on the app and then of course it will detect the uh, card you just need to uh, connect it up and then put in the uh, pin code of the card. And that gives it a secure connection via Bluetooth. All right, so let's press the button. Let's do that. And now uh, let's create a wallet. Here you go. We have two options. You can do the uh, card itself or the app. Uh, we're gonna, of course, do the uh, card and you'll notice there are uh, three options for the uh, uh, phrase, the recovery phrases, uh, 12, 18, or 24. We're gonna go for 18. All right, it will generate the seed and then you can continue and follow the instructions. That's pretty much it. All right, let's take a look at the uh, CoolBits app and see how it works. Here you go. And there's a range of cryptocurrencies already you have. And uh, you can actually add your own cryptocurrencies and uh, select it from the list. Here we can add some more uh, cryptocurrencies as well as tokens, including the uh, ERC20 as well as the TRC20 tokens. Let's go to the marketplace where you can do some staking 
as well as savings, crypto exchange and purchase. You can also connect up to the Wallet Connect as well as uh, claim your Spark tokens. You can also check out the history of all the uh, send and receive. And um, moving on to the settings, uh, here we can manage the card itself as well as the uh, app. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the Cool Wallet Pro, a cold storage hardware cryptocurrency wallet for storing all your cryptos offline uh, securely. I've been using it for a couple of weeks with no issues at all, and of course, it looks fantastic in my wallet. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget, you can actually buy this via the links in the description, and of course, you can use my uh, referral link as well. Oh, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com. All right, so that was a quick um, video on the Cool Wallet Pro. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, so check out the full video, uh, video as well as the review on our website, funkykit.com. It's a hardware crypto wallet, and it's uh, have it right here. Here we go. Comes in a box like this, very nice. And uh, you open it up, and it comes with like instructions, of course. And you got like seed keys. So. So uh, I think it was uh, Robotic Pizza said, what happens if you got a, a strong magnetic and you could wipe the card? Well, you know, don't need to worry about that. If the card gets stolen or broken or whatever and it's damaged, you as long as you have your seed keys, those recovery keys, all right? So it comes with the, these cards. You can actually write your recovery keys here and um, store it away somewhere safe, okay? Don't lose them. Uh, you can go and get yourself another recovery um I mean, you're getting another card, for example, and then uh, put these recovery keys back into the card and you will restore your crypto uh, assets. So, yeah, it's, it's a way to store your cryptocurrencies offline. And it works similar to, of course, Trazer and other hardware wallets. It, it's all based on uh, your recovery keys where, you know, you keep them safe and, uh, it, it, and it's external, right? So it's not online, it's... Uh, a tracer is a USB device. This one's a card. Uh, connects via Bluetooth. So you have the app and it connects up to the Bluetooth uh, securely. And it just basically, um, yeah, these little ports here are for charging. So you got a dock. It comes with a dock. And um, you just put that in there to charge the card up. It's not a card reader. It's just a, a charging dock. And the USB connects from there to your either a charging port or your laptop, whatever. Uh, it just charges the card and uh, yes, yeah, pretty cool. You can stick that in your wallet. It's a uh, credit card size. Uh, I love the uh, LCD. It's a it's an e-ink and it just flashes up and it says hello. You can see that. Yeah, and it's got the uh, different cryptos you can put in there. Um, it only displays four of them, but the other cryptos are actually uh, connected up through the app. So yeah, it's a very good um, hardware wallet. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. And you can check out the full review on our website at fuckit.com as well as watching the YouTube video as well. Uh, rattle row. So you can recover it only two times. Um, I think the recovery allows the card, the recovery cards allow you to do two types. There's the usual 12 phrase recovery seed. Uh, but this one gives you both 18 and 24. So you can either choose one of them. Yeah, I chose the 18. That's just a standard default. Yeah. Surely can some hack. <laughs> well, you you can it. Can you hack it? Uh, unless you got the physical card itself, and you're able to connect it up via Bluetooth to the mobile app, which is locked with your recovery keys. If the guys don't have the recovery key, then you can't hack it. It's got that 256-bit encryption. So it takes you like how many millions of years to decrypt it. So I'm pretty safe with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. And again, if I lose it, if it breaks, I can get another one of these, input my recovery car, uh, keys into it, and all my cryptos will be restored. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. It looks pretty cool as well. 
All right. Robotic Pizza says, only shirt time recovery, not f foreverness and ever. Uh, well, I don't know how 100% secure it is, to be honest with you, but from, one, from what I gather and from my experiences with crypto for the last like three, four years, it's pretty safe. Yeah. Um, and again, it's, it's offline. It's not on the exchange, you know, the apps and, uh, you know, you, 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 you can't hack something which is in your wallet unless you steal it and then you know my recovery keys. So, uh, Peter X says, have you transferred your crypto into the card? Yeah, I've done that. So what I normally do is you buy the cryptos on the exchange platform, whether it's Coinbase, Binance, crypto.com. So you use that uh, exchange app platform to buy those cryptos and then you transfer those out into the uh, this wallet. And the the keys, sorry, the keys, the uh, the Bitcoin addresses or whatever crypto addresses you have for each of the cryptos is actually uh, based on the Cool Bits app. So you need to run in in conjunction with the Cool Bits app on the on the phone. So but with 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 this whatever whatever you need to transfer out or transfer in uh, mostly transfer out from the from the crypto hardware wallet it requires you to connect it up uh, via the bluetooth secure connection so you need to physically have this card before you can transfer out so even if someone tried to transfer all my cryptos out or hack it and they try to steal all my cryptos they need the physical card key, this this wallet, credit card size, uh, cool wallet. I need to physically press this little button to allow the transfer. So if they don't have it, then they, they can't steal it offline or online or whatever. But yeah. There, yes, there's always a fee. So uh, they make, a lot of the apps make their money through uh, the fees. Uh, I've checked out a lot of the crypto platforms. I think Binance is still one of the cheapest. So, um, yeah, I think the fees are the main issue. But uh, that's why you have a lot of different, um, what do we call, uh, ERC and TRX. Those are uh, those are the tokens that allow you to transfer at a cheaper rate. Yeah. So, they call, yeah. <laughs> Chinas. <laughs> well, uh, it's actually I think they're owned by uh, I think this 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 Chinese guy actually owns Binance uh, or the CEO. Uh, I'm not sure whether he's from China, China, but uh, I know he's like he's got connections in Singapore. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure if he's uh, in the US, but um, but yeah, a lot of people are thinking, well, what's happening with Binance? Are they going to be uh, is scrutinized by e SEC? Uh, are they going to be fines? Are your crypto safe? That's the whole reason why I transfer out of Binance or any of the uh, exchange platforms. You don't want to really store your cryptos on those um, exchange platforms because you don't own the keys. You don't physically own those keys and therefore uh, you have no control. Um, a lot of people transfer those out to an online or hot wallet and the hot wallet gives you those uh, keys which you control so whenever someone tried to you know transfer uh, cryptos you need those keys so uh that that's that's pretty secure i say hot wallets but even more secure is the cold storage wallets which is totally offline when you transfer into the usb the trezor and the other ones including the cool wallet pro Robotic Pizza, he is a big baller in Singapore. Ah, oh, right, yeah, okay. Okay, so that's covered. Hope you enjoyed that little uh, cool Wallet Pro little video. So you check out the full review on our website, funkit.com, as well as uh, YouTube. All right, okay, so um, lots of things happening. Let's have a look at the next part, which be the uh, Rig Builder. So. Rig Builder is our system configurator. So Yao, my brother, did that. He's actually the, the guy behind it, the architect. And basically, it's a system configurator. So you can put into... Uh, let's have a look. Here we go. Let's, let's go over there. So 
Brick Builders on the top left here. You can see that right there on uh, AMD 3D website as well as the Funky Kit. So let's ho head over to AMD 3D and have a look around there. So click on that and what will happen is it'll give you a criteria that you need to fill in whether it's gaming or workstation. We're going to select gaming and we're going to select a budget say 1600. We're going to select AMD for the gra uh, CPU and AMD for the graphics card. And we can hit submit button and what will happen is it will go to Amazon and select the best prices uh, on components a best matching or criteria so you can see I picked the AMD as the processor uh, with a budget of 1600 and also AMD graphics card so let's have a look at the processor it's giving me a Ryzen 7 5800X so that's good that's uh, kind of process that I want so with that, you need a motherboard which is compatible with this processor. It won't give you an Intel board, of course. It will be an AMD motherboard, whether it be an X570 or a B550. So have a look at the motherboard. Here we go. As predicted, yep, yeah, a B550. This one is Tai Chi then. There's also MSI with the X570. Uh, B550 is good. I might even go for this one here. I like this one. The uh, Aorus Elite, the X570. So I'm going to pick this one, okay? So if you can notice the mouse hovers over the text so that means if for example i want to know a little bit more about this motherboard i can actually click on that and it will take you to the actual amazon page which will have more information about this product so that's pretty cool i like that and um yeah you can read up on it and stuff like that all right moving on back to the system configurator you move on uh, we got the cpu we got the motherboard let's have a look at the graphics card oh <laughs> it's only got one <laughs> that's the uh, rx570 which is the uh, previous generations two previous generations in fact uh so it looks like graphics card is still quite um get hard to get hold of in amazon uh we're still waiting for amazon to update their prices and have their you know the the stock up and running you know we, we should be looking at 6700 6600 radions uh, on if, if you go for nvidia it'll probably be rtx 3060s and 3070s but yeah still no graphics cards on amazon so we can skip that part memory wise we got corsair we got a uh, team group uh, patriot viper i do like the patriot viper i like the rgb on this one we're gonna select this one ddr4 4133 so that's in that's interesting i like that and then we've got M.2 SSD, we've got Samsung, we've got uh, PNY, we've got Cyber, we've got uh, Hynix and Western Digital. Let's have a look at this one. I like this one. I heard good reviews for this one. The Samsung um, uh, 980 SSD. This one is pretty cool. It's $129. Not, that, not bad, actually. So we'll leave it at that. Power supply, we've got Corsair, EVGA. We've got more Corsair. Power supply from... Uh, Corsair. I do like the white ones. Let's go for this one here. It's the um, RM series, 80, uh, 850 watt, 80 plus gold, and the modular also in white. $139, not bad. All right, we've got cases Corsair, Cooler Master, Be Quiet, Lian Li, mm, Fractal Design. I want to go for Fractal Design this time. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so once you're happy with the selection here, all you need to do is hit the uh, Buy All button and it will take you to the Amazon page where you can see the list of components that you selected. Now, of course, if you don't like some of the components that you've selected, you can always go back and reselect, okay? Uh, but yeah, once you're happy with the list, all you need to do is hit the continue and it will take you to the shopping cart and then continue with the order. Now, uh, I've had a couple of guys use this and uh, including uh, Bobby from Frag and Lagging Crew. He's actually wanted to build a system and he actually used our system configurator uh, to get some component prices. And uh, yeah, he just used it and he got all the parts and then decided to build one. So it is a good way to check out some of the prices as well as, of course, if you have a budget in mind but don't know what parts to get, you can always go into the system configurator. You can check out some of the prices. You can check out some of the brands as well as the you know different models. And stuff like that and the good thing is if you select an amd processor there's always going to be amd motherboards it won't give you an intel same versus with intel cpu it will go uh, intel boards rather than amd so yeah report any bugs if you find anything that is interesting or any bugs that you want to let us know then uh, hit us up at uh, of course uh, media at funky.com all right so we'll leave at that that's the rig builder for you hope you enjoyed that let's have a little chat and see what's going on Hey, Vanier, how's it going? 
Syed, how many graphics cards do you have? Uh, I have one running right there in my uh, little streaming rig, and that's <laughs> a GTX 1070. And I also have an RTX 2080 running in our test rig for testing motherboards, testing like, you know, different things. So, uh, yeah, I don't have an RTX 3060 or 3070 or a 3080. I don't have any of that. Nope. I don't even have a Radeon. 6700 or 6800 nothing i'm still using the uh previous generation and but yeah i mean i could go out there and get one i don't think it's worth that price at the moment uh in the recent post i did on the on the funky kit uh facebook uh i went out to the uh, computer mart in uh, hong kong and um yeah they got some prices there the prices are coming down and they are available you can actually get all the high-end cards but uh, I'm not gonna get any because there's no point for me to get actually get uh, the, the the 30 series RTX's or the 60 uh, 60 uh, 100 um, uh, Radeons because later on in the year they'll have the 7000 series from Radeon of course uh, Nvidia will have their RTX 40 series so I might as well wait for, for that all right <laughs> oh, Robotic Pizza mentioned about my uh, crypto uh, wallet card. Cool Wallet Pro. Yeah, in the video, it does show my PIN. But that PIN is to connect up to uh, the Bluetooth. So I think that PIN changes as well. It, it does one secure a connection to the phone, and that's it. So if it, de if it detects a new phone, that PIN won't work. So, yeah. Don't worry, it's pretty secure. <laughs> yeah, one time, one time password or pin for that. All right, so we've done a uh, rig builder. Let's move on to uh, mods of the week. So yes, we have, yes. It's time for mods of the week. Mods of the week, mods of the week. Right, so this is taken from our Extreme PC modding group. Uh, I think we have over 35, 6,000 members. So thanks guys for joining and becoming a part of this community is a great place if you want to show off your mods head over there uh, sign up become a member and then start posting some of your uh, creations your mods and of course if you want to build a mod if you want to mod your pc get some ideas it's also a great place to actually chat to those guys as well so uh, let me move on to here here we go and take a look at this so there you go oh 35 oh it's 35 it's 85,000 members wow <laughs> okay so 85,000 members so thanks guys for making it happen uh extreme pc modding group all right let's scroll down and have a look at some of the uh, mods this was a build uh oh i do like this bend right here very nice unusual very interesting and uh, this little bend here needs a little bit uh, adjusting but uh yeah <laughs> it looks pretty decent oh look at that okay um fair dues i mean it's it's a build but it's not a huge mod i do like the rgb and the way that he's actually done the hard to bending uh i'm gonna give this a 7.5 what do you think guys 7.5, I believe. Yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, we're going to take a look at... Uh, is that the same one or is it a different one? Here we go. That's just a build, nothing too spectacular. It's got a nice distro plate in the front here. And uh, I like the way, of course very good with this part here with the ram clearance so you can actually um take out your ram uh a lot of people build uh like loops where it the tubing actually covers the ram and it blocks access to the ram i, I don't like that <laughs> yeah it needs to be a clear away from the ram i like that here we go so yeah a clean build i think it could uh, do more for it Ooh, 
Is this like a case where he's actually chopped it up and he's got like a web? Oh, it's like a spider web. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Don't tell me he's going to put that graphics card like that. Oh, he has. <laughs> Check it out. He's actually put the graphics card on a slant held held by uh, this bracket right here. And this uh, 3D, what appears to be a 3D printed little uh, concoction here is mounted onto the uh, the case itself. Spider web-ish looking. And of course, he's, he's going to have a, an extension, a PCI extender cable right here. And look at the tubing right here. Look, look at that. It's actually connected back into the distro plate. So this mod looks very interesting. I'd love to see it in action. Oh, is it the, the bits power distro plate? Very nice. Okay. I wonder if he actually finished building this. Oh, that's the first time I've seen this. Uh, he's actually put the radiator tubing out here back into the, board, the, the chassis itself. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. This one, I could probably give it a 9. Oh, he's actually put the fans right here underneath the, the chassis right here. He's drilled some, um, cut out the, uh, the, 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 the plate here for the fans. Now, there's some modding work here. I do like it. I do like the way he's done it. I love to see this in, in complete. Right, here comes the spray. Yeah, it's got some... Oh, look at that. Yeah. This is the kind of job... Ooh, looks good. I like it. Oh, wow. Here we go. That's the extension of the cable I was talking about. And he's, he's going to put that back into the board. Uh, could have cleared the RAM a little bit. Here we go. That That's one part I don't like. Is actually covering the RAM there. Blocking the access. Ooh, look at that. It's like a semi-open chassis. Modded, of course. Yeah, I think he could have... Maybe put the uh, tubing to unblock the RAM there. If, they, if he didn't block the RAM, I would have given it a 9.5. But I'll probably give it a 9. It looks unique, different. And uh, that's the kind of mod that you could ease. Oh, I do like the white and red and a bit of black on the board, which looks very Spider-Man. Yeah. Very nice. I do like it. All right, moving on. Let's see what else we have. What about this one here? Um, can I expand it? Oh, you like expand it? Here we go. Uh, clean build. Uh, tubing away from the RAM. That's good. Uh, I think it's just a clean build. SLI. Look what appears to be SLI. Dual G-Force. With a water block. Why is it one this one? Like this way. Odd. I'll probably give this a 7. Point five. It's just a build, nothing special. Oh, this one I've seen this. I've seen these cases before. Is that the um, tell me uh, what case is this? Is this the is this the uh, Azo or I think it's called Azo, right? It's like a triangular theme. Nothing much special, it's just a build with the water cooling. It looks better like this way. But yeah, I'll probably give this a, a 7.5. Oh, I've seen this before, very nice. Uh, it's from Zadak. Is it Zadak? Uh, it's a chassis you can actually buy. Um, but the design of it is, I, I, do, like, I do like the design. You, they've put the graphics card on one end, the one side of the uh, the chassis with the power supply. On the other side, of course, you got uh, the mini ITX mini ITX board, which I love mini ITX, as you know. And of course, he's got the uh, water block for the graphics card right here, uh, on a vertical there, with a board block. So, and this part here is an LCD display, I believe. 
uh, with temperature monitors and stuff like that. So uh, I do like it. Uh, I mean, if you do buy this, there's a couple of ways you can mod this. You can actually put some nice paint work to it. Um, cable management is, is definitely something that you need to look into because uh, it's once you have a, an open chassis kind of mini ITX build, cabling becomes a really of a, a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, for the chassis itself uh, and the build, if you could build one, I could easily give us anything, anything from seven or above. All right, frostbite, frost or frostify. Okay, uh, EK. So fractal design, I think that's the chassis. Clean build, nothing spectacular. Um, yeah, just a nice clean build. Again, very nice with the uh, tubing here away from the RAM. I do like the uh, the fittings, the the EK fittings. Uh, it's it's very nice, kind of got, it's got this like metallic kind of uh, um, new design. I do like that. Translucent tubing. I think that's becoming a big thing now. A lot of uh, models are using these translucent tubing because I think uh, once you have RGB in it and the lights hit those translucent tubes, it looks so good. Yeah. So yeah, um, custom rage. All right, okay. So I do like this. Okay, very nice, clean build. I'll probably give it a seven point five, possibly eight. All right. Oh, there's my little video. So if you missed that, head over to the uh, YouTube and check it out. It's the uh, Asrock B550 PG Riptide. Um, very nice motherboard. Check out the full review as well as the video at fuckgeek.com as well as YouTube as well. This one's just a, a PC build with the... Let's have a look at this one. Ooh, look at that. It's got this like a Marvel Panther purple looking kind of theme to it, right? Yeah. Black Panther. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, nice build. Um, 7.5. Alright. Ooh, I like the uh, okay cable management. Not the best, but okay. This is, the kind of, this is the kind of cable management that I do. Alright. It's not the best, but uh, it's something that I could uh, work with. Alright. That's the that little video build. That's just nothing. All right, let's uh, let's move on to the uh, our other uh, page, which is the Funky Kit and Gadgets page. Um, this page is our Funky Kit and Gadgets. Yeah. So this one is uh, with Rattle Road. Rattle Road does a lot of the posting on the uh, mods, and so this one is World of Warcraft themed. Very nice. World Warcraft with a Fantex case. These are just decals, right? Not like a pink job or um, they're more like stickers. But I do think it's okay. Uh, I'll probably give it a seven. This one. All right, what about this one here? Cougar case, yeah. Modded with the paintwork and love the uh, paintwork as well as the RGB. Ooh, look at that. It looks so uh, Gundam, right? Or the uh, Space Force. Yeah. It's so slick. I love the paintwork. I'm going to give this uh, an 8. Ooh, look at that. Rick Hunter. Very nice. Yeah. I'll give this an 8. This one is just a build. Nothing special. I've got one of these builds. Uh, an Antec uh, Striker case. Well, it's a Phantom Gaming Edition. You can check out the full build. Uh, on our website. 
All right, let's see where else uh, in the Funky Kitten Gadget. See any more mods? This is, uh, I believe, a 3D printed one, maybe? Yeah, it looks like a 3D printed one. I love the way that he's actually done this, so. It's, it's, it's a standard chassis, I believe, but he's actually bolted on these uh, 3D printed components, making it look pretty unique. It looks like something from the 70s or 80s, like, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, it looks good, though. John Koenig, X5 computer. 19, what? Anniversary, oh, oh, right. Okay, cool. That's the good thing about 3D printed parts is that you can actually paint, uh, do a good paint job on it, and you can just make it into look so good. Nuclear core inside. Oh, cool. I like that. Yeah. This one is what modding's about. I want to give this an 8 as well. That's a dead hard drive. Where's he going to put that? Oh, I like the uh, the LED on the, uh, the lighting on this. Very nice. See? See the paint work from that to this? That's the undercoat, I believe, and then you, start, you can start painting inside. Remember those old fans right here? Oh, look at that! It's got the old hard drive. <laughs> cool! And he's actually put that in there with the uh, purple RGB light. Oh, that looks so cool. X580 Pro, don't tell me he's going to put that in there. No way. That's like an old motherboard. X5, X58, Intel. <laughs> A Predator M.2 for 80 gig. He's actually put that in there. Wow. All right, definitely eight for this one. Very nice. I like it. Uh, this one's crazy with the RGB and the tubing. Uh... Very unique in terms of the the way that the tubing is is kind of like looped up, and it looks pretty tangled, but it looks looks good though. Thermal take build, white coolant, everything thermal take thermal take RAM, water block, distro plates, fans, power supplies. This is a thermal take build, by the way. Yeah. I like it. Uh, clean build, lots of RGB, lots of nice tubing in there. I'll probably give it a, an 8 as well. Alright, let's take a look at this one. This is like a Stranger Things. Stranger Things build. With the uh, red, black themed. Uh, oh, look at that. Very nice design with the pink work. Very clean. Shame about the um, the tubing over the RAM, but um, it's a decent build. Oh, I like the uh, the reservoir with the what we looks to appear to be a cracked kind of uh, tubing, but it's a very nice design. Yeah, I do like this. Very unique. Oh, look at that! It's so glossy. Yeah, I'm going to give this an 8 as well. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Stranger Things. And I will do one more. How about this one right here? Okay. It's chrome tubing. Very nice. Uh, three radiators at the top. Looping. In a loop. Very nice. Oh, so you say loop cascading, I should say. Uh, I like the uh, tempered glass, but it looks like what well, appears to be curved on the edge. I haven't seen this chassis before. It's pretty unique. Yeah, look at that. You've got three res uh, radiators there. And it's, of course, uh, in a cascade there. Very nice. In, out, in, out, in, out. Tubing away from the RAM. Very nice. Easy access to the RAM. 
and wow look at the look at the tempered glass the way uh, does the does this open oh looks pretty cool unique case this case is i haven't seen it available for sale so i guess it could be a custom job very nice i am gonna give this an 8 actually 8.5 possibly look at that look at the the gpu block it's not the entire card it's only the the ram and the gpu um the, the you know the silicon core there right there the chip itself but the actual rest of the pcb board is actually open you can actually see it so this water block looks very nice I like that the chrome tubing looks so cool yeah 8.5 8 for this one very nice okay so that's pretty much it for mods of the week let's go back onto the chat and see what's going on aries 25 yeah so that bill is i just noticed you mentioned jetsons yeah it could be from that show jetsons showing your age <laughs> So thanks Rattle Row for the selection of um, mods posted on the Funky and Gadgets page. So thank you. Pig Reader says he's put a lot of work on the spider build. So yeah, I mentioned that spider build. That was very nice. Alright, so that was Mods of the Week for you guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we're going to take a quick, uh, a quick break. And we'll be back uh, shortly after this little uh, video. But uh, yeah, we'll come back. We'll talk a little bit about crypto update. And then, of course, we've got the Cougar Streamer X uh, review coming soon. But I want to show you a preview of what's to come. And then, of course, uh, we'll talk a little bit about Windows 11. What's going on there? Is your PC ready for Windows 11 update? <laughs> and then we've got the prize giveaway announcements and of course do some live prize giveaways and we'll wrap it up with next week's preview all right so we'll take a break and we'll be back after this short break so enjoy the video we'll see you in a bit
Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that short little break. Yes, I did go for the toilet, <laughs> the bathroom, and I washed my hands. So we're good. <laughs> All right, guys. So quickly, uh, I just want to let you guys know that Pig Radio did a little jingle for me, and I love it. And here it is again. It's time for the Funky Kid Show with your host, Winston Chim. The Mr. Beast of the computer world. <laughs> I love it. So thanks, Pig Radio, for that. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably ask him to do a little more jingles, and we can actually play that throughout our show. Okay, so um, just looking back, we've done the uh, Funky Kit and AMD websites updates, and of course, we did the Cool Wallet Pro video. Check out the full review on our website, Funky Kit, as well as the YouTube video. And then we did the rig builder, our system configurator. So thanks, Yao, for that, my little brother, who is actually the architect behind rig builder. And then, of course, we did mods of the week, taken from our extreme PC modding group with over 85,000 members. So thanks, guys, for joining. It's a great place to get some mod ideas as well as if you're a mod. Uh, if you have a mod that you want to show off, head over there and post your mods and your creations. All right, let's move on to have a look at the crypto update. It's been happening uh, the last couple of weeks. It's been crazy. Lots of things happening, uh, prices going up like crazy. So uh, let's take a look and see what's going on in the world of crypto. All right, let's have a look at the uh, website right here. It's this uh, coinmarketcap.com. Um, as you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA has been going crazy. Uh, lots of percentage going up. So, so these are the big guys, Bitcoin and of course Ethereum. And um, ADA has been, you know, really strong for the last couple of weeks. Uh, increase over the last, I think, couple of, um, about a month. It's gone like crazy, like 20, 30, 40 um, percent. But yeah, other coins include, of course, Dogecoin now hitting the 30 cent marks. So that's cool. So if you've got some Dogecoins from before, I know it's only meme coin. Uh, there's not much use for this Dogecoin. But yeah, I mean, it's going up slightly. Uh, at one time, I think it hit 60-something or 70-something cents, so it could double, who knows. Uh, and of course, Solana is another one. Uh, this went crazy uh, over the last, I uh, think, to about a month. If we look back uh, about a month ago, it was only a month ago. I mean, a few weeks ago, in fact. It was like $39, now it's like 100 and. Forty dollars, thirty-nine dollars, around that is is just nuts. So Solana, I think a lot of uh, DeFi, what we call DeFi, decentralized finance, uh, where people are using cryptos to swap up for tokens, and those tokens are then uh, put into staking, what we call staking. It's locked for a period of say three months, six months, whatever, and is used then to actually mine more coins. Or, um, or people use that to like land and whatever but uh yeah you get like coins uh in terms of like interest back and stuff like that so yeah a lot of uh interesting news happening and I, i'd say anything in the top 50 is good to buy uh it just depends on what you're into um yeah but definitely something to look into if you're starting to go off with crypto. I know it's, it's very volatile. And again, I'm not your financial advisor, right? So this is not any financial advice by any means. Uh, any, of course, investment or anything like that is your own doing. So, uh, but yeah, definitely look into it. Uh, and it works, of course, now with my crypto wallet, my Cool Wallet Pro. Uh, and definitely looking into getting yourself some cryptos and then storing that offline uh, safely. But yeah, definitely look into Bitcoin, Ethereum and, and Cardano, ADA. They're going up really nicely. So that's basically crypto update for you guys. Very short, just want to let you guys know what's been happening. All right, so the next part is the uh, Cougar Streamer X. All right, so this is a microphone or podcast mic, uh, but yeah, let me let me show you what it looks like. So this is it. The the scream or oh, streamer? Oh, it's the Screamer X, not Streamer X. The Screamer X, and um, it looks pretty decent. Uh, in fact, uh, we got a review up up and coming later on in the week, so look out for that. 
it's uh, designed for, of course, uh, people or you know, st streaming, podcasts, whatever. Uh, it has the a base, a very nice base with the RGB. I do like that. Uh, it's got a, a selection, of, of course, different um, audio settings and audio profiles. And you notice a little square bar here, right here. So it looks looks to be like uh, what you call the you know like a filter. And um, yeah, looks pretty decent. Anti vibration rivers, triple sixteen millimeter omnidirectional drivers. Uh, it's got the internal pop filter as well as the aluminium shield. So, so this is the aluminium shield. It's got internal pop filter, which is very nice. And uh, here you go. These are different profile profiles for the pickup noises. You got cardioid, which is the general what we use. Uh, we got a shotgun, and of course bidirectional. Actually, what I'm using right now is bidirectional. I have a, a speaker in front of me, which is playing the music, and also all the jingles. And of course, uh, with this HyperX mic, um, then I'm speaking this way, and it, both sounds coming in both directions. And you got omnidirectional, which is all over. So, yeah, interesting, very nice. I like the RGB as well. Oh, you have a real-time monitor as well, so you can actually plug in your headphones in there. What appears to be a 3.5 millimeter headphones jack, so you can actually monitor your audio. Quick tap mute. I have one right here. Yeah, yeah. So it goes on and off. So it's just a quick tap. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Look out for the uh, the review coming into our website soon next week. So with that said, check out this little uh, interesting. Uh, well, I spoke to Cougar, and Cougar says, "Hey, do you have a Funky Kit uh, logo?" I said, "Yeah, we got a Funky Kit logo. It's on our website. We've actually done it on our T-shirt." So we got a Funky Kit logo. So we've given the the logo design to Cougar, and they've decided then to put our logo on their mic. Yes, <laughs> check it out. So yeah, look at that. They've actually put in the uh, the aluminium frame um, protector there with our Funky Kit logo. What do you think, guys? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Nice, huh? So thanks, Cougar, for that. I really appreciate that. And of course, uh, Chris, our reviewer, he's been playing with the with the, uh, the Cougar mic, the Screamer X, and he's actually used this as well. So it's nice funky kit logo for the aluminium protector right there. Here we go. You got the gain. You can see that gain right there. You got the uh, the audio pickup profiles, and you got the headphone monitor, which you can actually plug in your 3.5 millimeter. Uh, headphones to monitor your audio. Yeah. Pig Reader says he's hanging out with the funky chicken watching the show. <laughs> yeah. He's he's loving the funky logo on the uh, Cougar uh, Streamer X microphone. <laughs> Aries twenty five says looks kind of clunky hanging around. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. I couldn't, I couldn't find a way where you could sit down somewhere, but um, he's doing alright. He's actually sitting on my uh, HyperX um, head headset there. <laughs> all right, what do you think, guys? Nice funky logo on the uh, Cougar Stream Screamer X microphone. So uh, watch out the, for the rev full review on our website, Funky Kit, later on in the week. Yeah, and a big, uh, big shout out to Cougar. For allowing us to put the uh, Funky Kit logo on there. Very nice. Alright, so that's that. And um, let's quickly talk uh, about Windows 11. So, um, I haven't written anything about Windows 11 yet. But uh, I think there's beta OS is out there already. Uh, and of course, people will be using that. Uh, there's reports of like um, bugs, of course. It's, it's not really a full release yet, but uh, apparently you need a, a TPM, right, uh, for the Windows Auto Update, right? So I think 
if you have a PC which is uh, I don't know how many years old with the older generation of the TPM chip you could be in trouble um, for if you don't want to do the Windows upgrade I think that I think I'm not sure if they do any free upgrade if you have Windows 10 already uh, but if you do have the free upgrade it will need a TPM chip the latest one or whatever version is 2.0 I think the last couple of years, the last maybe two years, they already have the TPM chip version 2. So, for example, I recently bought my Zephyrus laptop, the uh, Asus Zephyrus G14 uh, laptop, which you've seen the review as well as a video. That things like that would have the TPM chip uh, version 2.0 already built in. Uh, but for the older generation, I'm not sure whether you have the TPM 1.1, 1.0. Then for the Windows 10 free upgrade, that might not work. For the only way that you can get that Windows 11 working is to have a complete reinstall of the OS or fresh install of the uh, OS 11, uh, Windows 11. So, yeah, be careful. Check out the, the news and updates and see what's going on. And um, apparently it looks like uh, uh, a Mac OS with the uh, little bar at the bottom there. Which you can do, <laughs> I think it's a taskbar, right? Which looks very similar to a, a Mac OS. Uh, but I'm guess it's the ga gradual uh, update with Windows. Windows 11 could be a bit buggy. I, I, I tend to wait for a while. I remember uh, when Windows 7 was around, I was using Windows 7 for quite a while. And then we had Windows 8. I didn't bother with that. No, I didn't bother. Um... Then Windows 10, so if Windows 10 came out, it was okay, I didn't really get into it until, you know, I think a lot of the Windows updates cleared up a lot of the bugs, then um, of course my Windows uh, running on the Zephyrus laptop is Windows 10, so yeah, I think Windows 10 is fine. Um, if you do have problems with Windows 11, I'll just keep using Windows 10 until Windows 11 gets patched up I guess they're gonna be major patches updates um, so I won't probably won't upgrade to Windows 11 until next year to be honest with you uh, I'll give them a couple of months to iron up the patches and bugs and updates and stuff like that so there we go that's my view on Windows 11 don't just jump in and and, and take it for granted you never know and plus a lot of the apps I'm running may not work on Windows 11 uh, I guess it should work maybe buggy I don't know especially if you're doing a lot of streaming I, I've got my streaming set up nicely I don't want it to freak out <laughs> when I upgrade to Windows 11 so and plus my motherboard I don't think well it's four years old mind is it TPM 2.0 I don't know I haven't checked but anyway I'll, I'll leave it for maybe another year I'll leave it till next year to upgrade to Windows 11 all right, with that said, let's take a look and uh, have some, oh, we've got some prize giveaway announcements, so let's have a look. Here we go. Let's have a look at what's going on. <clears throat> so last week we did the grand prize giveaway and Kirk1000 won that prize giveaway. So it was the ASRock um, B550, sorry, X570 Tai Chi Razor Edition, the big thing. Yeah, that, look at that. Right, I have it right here. Give me a second. I haven't shipped it out yet. It's still here. Um, I think I'll do it next week, okay? So don't worry, Kirk. It's still here. It's the uh, You've won this, so well done. It's the Azure X570 Tai Chi uh, Razor Edition. We'll be shipping that out to you next week. And um, for that, uh, we've got some other prize giveaways, of course, on our website. Let's head over to the main site. Here we go. Prize giveaways right here. Click on that, and it will take you to... Our latest prize giveaway, and we're giving away the ASRock B460M Steel Legend motherboard. It's a pretty decent board. It's a Micro ATX, Micro ATX, yeah, Micro ATX, and um, it supports all of the latest uh, tenth generation processors, I believe. Yeah, yeah, tenth generation processors, and uh, on the LGA 1200. All right, so. We have two to give away, so head over to the website and of course follow the instructions. Um, you can then of course 
share our channel, watch our videos, follow us on Twitch, uh, like us on Facebook, and so on and so on. So follow those instructions, and uh, you'll be entered for this uh, prize giveaway. We've got two of these to give away. It's the ASRock uh, B460M Steel Legend of the Board, suitable for Intel 10th Gen processors, okay? So pretty decent board, um, mainstream, but it's got some nice features. And uh, we'll probably give one of these away live uh, towards the end, or maybe in the middle of the uh, month, sometime maybe on the 19th, some of the date. Uh, yeah, we'll probably give one away on around about the 19th of September, so watch out for that. Join the show, of course, we'll be giving one of these live on the show. So two on the website, one on the live show, all right? So don't miss out for that. It's the ASRock B450, sorry, ASRock B460M Steel Legend motherboard. All right, we've got three to give away. All right, so with that said, let's do um, a live prize giveaway, shall we? Yes. Uh, recently, I just posted uh, something that you guys could help out. And basically, it's the merchandise. All right, so we got some nice mer merchandise from our streamlabs.com slash funkit slash merch. Head over there and, of course, get, himself, uh, get yourself some merch. This will, of course, help us with the channel and, of course, give you lots of free prize giveaways. Yes. Funk kit and baseball cap we have. We've got a mug. We've got a jacket. We have the uh, backpack, T-shirt, hoodies, and, of course, string bags, a mouse mat, and flip-flops. So we got these on our merchandise store head over there to get yourself some merch and it will help us with the show any any merchandise any help is uh purchase is really nice and appreciated thank you so head over to streamlabs.com slash funkit slash merch and get yourself some merch all right so with the free prize giveaway we're gonna give you a poll and see uh, what it is that you want to win. Let's start up this uh, poll. And uh, you got a choice, of course, to win some merch. We got t shirt, we got a mug, we got a mouse man, baseball cap, string bag, and hoodie. Let's start the poll right now. Uh, head over to uh, twitch.tv slash funkykit. Give us a follow. Head over to the chat and participate. And of course, pick the item that you want to win. In our today's live prize giveaway. All right, we got a baseball cap in the lead. <laughs> T-shirt, hoodie. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Here we go. Take a look at that. <laughs> yes, T-shirt in there. Mouse man, baseball cap, hoodie. All right. So let that run for about a minute, and of course, uh, we'll pick the item that you've of well pick the most so cool it's a tie so far between t-shirt baseball cap and hoodie all right we've got 15 seconds left all right and the poll has ended and of course, as usual, hoodie seems to be the biggest um, popular choice. Here we go. No lie there. You can see that hoodie has uh, won the poll. All right, let's do the prize giveaway right now. We're going to do that. Let's pick the uh, settings. Give me a second. And uh, yes, going to give a, a prize giveaway a hoodie. Yes, live price giveaway, and we're doing it right now. We're giving away a Funky Kit hoodie. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> like this. All right, so we got five minutes on this one. Uh, funky hoodie. We're gonna set it up. Give me a second. All you need to do is head over to Twitch.tv/FunkyKit. Give us a follow. Join the chat and type in the commands. For a chance to win this funky hoodie. That's right. I'm gonna set this up. Give me a second. We're looking good. Uh -huh. 
All right. Okay, before I do this, uh, another jingle done by Mr. Pig Radio. So thanks, Pig Radio, for the jingle. And this is what it sounds like. Hope you enjoy this. Check it out. When it comes to live prize giveaways, this guy is a beast. Winston Chim and Funky Kid. <laughs> oh, love it. Thanks, Pig Radio. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. So uh, give a shout out to Pig Radio for providing the jingle. I love it. All right, let's hit continue. And the prize giveaway has started, okay? Head over to twitch.tv slash funky kit. Uh, give us a follow. Head over to the chat and type in the command. Of course, you'll be in for a chance to win this a fantastic funky hoodie from our streamlabs.com slash funky kit slash merch. A uh, little uh, hoodie. And this is what it looks like on the hoodie. Let me just head over there and take a look. Here we go. Available in the black. We've got them in the pink as well. And also in the navy. And we've got them in a the gray as well as uh, white. Very nice. Yeah. Of course, this one costs you $4. So we're giving one of these away for free. Head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit. Give us a follow. And then head over to the chat. Type in the command. All right. Okay, so that's while that's happening, let's have a look and uh, see who's just entered. We got Val, yes, Valus D, Robotic Pizza. We got True. We got Venue. We got uh, Kirk Peckman, JD, Kirk One Thousand, Sweetie Balls. <laughs> Pig Radio says, "Welcome. You're glad uh, you're getting some enjoyment." <laughs> yes much appreciated so for you guys who missed out on that little jingle here it is again so courtesy thanks to pig radio when it comes to live prize giveaways this guy is a beast winston chim and funky kid <laughs> oh i love it all right thanks pig radio for that I will uh, probably ask you to do a little bit more jingles for the show. It really helps with, uh, you know, making it really nice. So we got three minutes on the uh, prize giveaway. Today we're giving away a Funky Kit hoodie. And um, head over to twitch.tv slash Funky Kit. Give us a follow and join the chat and type in the command to win the uh, Funky Kit hoodie. All right. Uh, incidentally... Uh, we'll probably set up the uh, next grand prize giveaway and we'll probably give away this one here I mentioned earlier uh, this is the of course the uh, PG the ASRock B550 PG Riptide motherboard uh, we did a review uh, just this week and also the video head over to funkykit.com uh, check out the review head over to YouTube watch the video give us a like and of course share the content and uh, we'll probably give one of these away and our, our grand prize uh, giveaway for our Twitch subscribers. Yes, so we got some fantastic prizes for our Twitch subscribers. So uh, every month we got some decent prizes to give away. You just need to make sure that you subscribe to our Twitch channel. So if you head over to twitch.tv slash subscribe and uh, yeah, and join the show towards the end of the month and uh, we will probably give one of these away for our Twitch subscribers. We've got fantastic prizes for our uh, um, throughout the month and it's all available to everybody who subscribe those are the grand prizes that we have and of course every uh, week we've got some uh, merchandise to give away as well as uh, the occasional product from our vendors and our suppliers and sponsors so all right we've got about a minute and a half left on our live prize giveaway and we're going to give away the funky kit hoodie yes don't forget, guys, uh, don't forget, if you want to check out some of the latest news reviews, head over to funky.com. Uh, it's a great place to get some uh, uh, news and reviews. And, of course, if you're a modder, if you're uh, into building PCs, go to the uh, Facebook page, our Extreme, po uh, Extreme PC Modding Group. It's a great place to then get some ideas on modding, as well as if you're a modder, we'll show off, go and post some photos and pictures. Robotic Pizza says, 
Uh, Winston, what's the big green thing behind you? Uh, oh, oh, you mean this thing here? <laughs> this thing here is a build from, uh, I think, 2017 or 16? 2016. This is an ID cooling um, ice, ice cream? Yes, yeah, ice cream. I call it the ice cream. It's a full aluminium chassis, full aluminium, okay? With uh, the actual, here, see this, this little metal part here? It's all tubing. Um, it's crazy. Uh, let me if, let me bring up the uh, the ice cream. You love it. You'll see what I mean. Um, this is something I've built a long time ago, though. Ice ice stream ice stream. I think it's called ice stream. Uh, it was one of our first one of our first builds that we did for a while. Here we go. Project ice stream. Here we go. Yeah, 2016, December. So we did this uh, quite a while back. It's a uh, blue and white themed uh, build. And uh, yeah, we used uh, Thermaltic components. Uh, we did some tube bending. We took the graphics card apart. We put a, 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 a water block in there. So we just move a clock in there. Um, fairly decent performance as well. Let's have a look at the photos in the end. That's what it looks like. Uh, there we go. Look at <laughs> look at the power supply. One thousand two hundred seventy-five watts from thermal take. <laughs> then, if you look at the, it looks kind of like lopsided, but it's the way of the chassis is designed like that. Um, yeah, and all this goes into the actual aluminium tubing of the chassis. Yeah. It's got the uh, micro ATX board from MSI. Uh, it's got the uh, XSPC water block. White cooler. It's got the uh, 240 radiator from Thermaltake. And of course, uh, it's got the EK. And it's got Thermosphere, I think. It's, got, it's a water block for the uh, Radeon graphics card. I could have put some more RGB in there, but at the time, I didn't have enough RGB stuff on there. But yeah, if you look at the tubing there, a nice, I like this little bend here. Look at that. It comes out of the uh, chassis, and it goes into the chassis. That's what I meant. And this whole metal tubing here, I would say aluminium tubing, is part of the, uh, the chassis. Yeah. So we did this uh, in 2017 or 16. Yeah. Yeah, this is the EK thermosphere. I think it's called thermosphere. It only cools the um, the GPU uh, chip, the actual yeah GPU. The RAM I have to, uh, to cool with uh, these uh, copper heat sinks. Yeah. So that was it. This is the Project Ice Dream. 2016 I did this. Yeah. You can check out the video as well. It's also available on uh, YouTube. And um, yeah. Project Ice Dream. Hope you enjoyed that. Alright, moving on. I think the prize giveaway has ended. We're going to pick a winner. Before we do that, though, of course, I'm going to have to play the uh, little jingle by Pig Radio. So, Pig Radio, here we go. Hit it is again. When it comes to live prize giveaways, this guy's a beast. Winston Chim and Funky Kid. Yes. All right, so we're going to give away a live prize giveaway, and this is the uh, Funky Kid hoodie, our merchandise. And uh, we're going to pick a winner right now, so... I'm going to count down to five. Five, four, three, two, one. And the winner is... True. Well done. Yeah, here we go. Take a screenshot. <laughs> well done. You are the winner. Woohoo. And of course, we're going to do some... Uh, we're going to, of course, give you a clap. Because you deserve one. Oh.
And uh, because you are awesome. awesome. All you need to do is uh, click on the link, claim your prize, and it's a funky hoodie. All right. Well done. True. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, so we did the uh, live prize giveaway, and we got some nice jingles from Pig Radio. Thanks for that. And uh, don't forget uh, to check out our website for more news, reviews, and hot tips at funkykid.com. You can check out our videos on YouTube, and of course, share our content. Give us a like, and of course, get your friends to like, follow us, and so on. And of course, every week, every Sunday, we have the live show, the Funk Kid Show Live, with me, your host, Winston. And as um, Pig Radio says, it's time for the Funky Kid Show with your host, Winston Chim, the Mr. Beast <laughs> of the computer world. <laughs> oh, I love that. Thank you, Pig Radio. And yeah, you can call me Mr. Beast, but I'm not, I don't want to take that credit. But uh, we do want to give you something back in return for uh, supporting us all these months and all these years uh, in our show, live show, as well as, of course, our content uh, at Funky Kit. Uh, yeah, we want to give something back, whether it's uh, freebies, whether it's like, you know, prize giveaways, and of course, merchandise, uh, our Funky Kit merchandise. And every month, we're going to do give you some uh, live grand prize giveaways for our Twitch subscribers. So that's something that I want to give you guys. And uh, yeah, so if you're not a Twitch subscriber already, head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe. It's a great uh, place, of course, for us to do. We're going to give away like grand prizes every month, like last month or last week, in fact, uh, towards the end of August. Uh, Kirk 1000 actually won the uh, X570 Tai Chi Razor Edition motherboard from ASRock. And that was fantastic. So well done to Kirk. And um, yeah, we're gonna give like lo loads of prize giveaways, and we want to give something back in return. And this is the only way I think uh, you can support us in any way by buying some merch, give us uh, likes, share our content, and so on and so on. All right, so I think we call it a day. Uh, thanks for joining the show, and of course, we'll be back next Sunday, uh, similar time. It could be around, uh, I would say EST time, right? So EST time would be around about maybe 11 possibly 12 um, but yeah it depends on what time I can get on board but I usually let you guys know within about a few days previous beforehand all right guys hope you enjoyed the show don't forget uh, we'll be back next Sunday and uh, thanks again for pick radio for all those jingles and uh, it's been a great show hope you uh, guys stay safe this weekend uh, if you get your jobs do that uh, it's always good and uh, we'll see you next week Enjoy your weekend. Until next time, this is Winston for the Funky Show live every week, Sunday. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.